sorry no? sorry yeah you are not uh, i was not audible na you are not able to hear me now it is okay na yes sir okay fine so uh, number of moles of number of moles of solute will be equal to molarity into volume in liter and if you have written volume in ml if you have written volume in ml then this won't be number of moles it will be number of millimoles this will be number of millimoles this will be number of millimoles fine so now see uh, 1000 millimoles means 1 mole 1000 all these childish things i have written so that uh, in one place only you will get everything all these is very childish or very small not so big things but i have written this all so that if you need this all then you need not to look here and there just in one place only you will get everything now see the next point next next uh, rule uh, for this uh, principle of atomic conservation for a compound mx and y x is the number of moles of n and y is the moles of m y is the moles of m and x is the mole of n so this uh, you, we should remember as na2o valency of oxygen is 2 and valency of sodium is 1 because here one oxygen atom na so valency of sodium will be 1 and here two atoms so the valency of oxygen will be 2 so that is what i have written here mx so y is the valency of m and x is the valency of n so will be equal to number of moles too now see limiting reagent limiting reagent just see this is very just to see this is very very important concept there in the mole concept is stoichiometry that's very very important concept c this is an equation twice h2 gas plus o2 gas will give you twice h2o gas will give you twice h2o gas suppose in question they have given this 10 moles of hydrogen 7 moles of oxygen and before start of equation this is zero mole before start of reaction moles before reaction c c how many moles of hydrogen is there two moles two moles reacts with 10 moles this you should know they won't provide you this all two moles hydrogen two moles hydrogen reacts with one mole oxygen reacts with one mole oxygen reacts with one mole oxygen Two moles hydrogen reacts with one mole of oxygen. Therefore, here in this question, what they have given ten moles. Ten moles of hydrogen will react with ten into one divided by two. That is five moles. Five moles of oxygen. Ten moles of hydrogen reacts with five moles of oxygen. But here, how many moles of oxygen are there? Seven. what it is required in compare to that it is more than it since the number of moles of oxygen required to react with 10 moles of hydrogen is 5 mole but here present oxygen is 7 moles so obviously what it is needed in compare to that it is more in compare to that it is more in compare to that it is more so 10 moles of hydrogen reacts with 5 moles of so this is excessive reagent what this is this is excessive reagent how many moles are it additional two moles and this is limiting reagent in this reaction this h2 will be used completely but this o2 won't be used completely some leftover amount of moles of oxygen will be there but there will not be any leftover number of moles of hydrogen there in this equation are you getting my this point are you getting by this point that's very important no sir ha uh, is it okay yeah i'll do it again i'll do it again i'll do it again listen very carefully see you are having 5 liter of milk 
5 liter of milk you are having 10 kg of sugar but tea powder but tea powder is only for one cup tea powder is only one cup of tea tea powder is only for one cup of tea tea powder is only for one cup of tea so how many cups of tea you can prepare milk is 5 liter sugar is 10 kg but tea powder is for only one cup of tea so how many cups of tea you can prepare say for uh, how many one only one cup of tea is an is it okay yes sir fine so this tea powder will be limiting reagent this tea powder will be limiting reagent the substance which is in least quantity will always decide the what quantity of product will be formed how much quantity of product will be formed this will always be decided by the substance reactant which is in least quantity reactant which is in more quantity higher quantity excessive quantity will never decide the amount of the product formed will never be decided by the excessive reagent can only be decided by the limiting reagent so 5 liter of milk and 10 kg of sugar and one tea powder is sufficient for one cup of tea only so you can prepare only one cup of tea so this tea powder will be the limiting reagent the substance which is in least quantity will always decide the amount of product formed so since this is excessive quantity left over is there this is not excessive quantity this is limiting reagent so only hydrogen will decide how many moles of water will be formed is it okay that's a yes. very very important concept there there in the chemistry now see i'll explain the same here how they can ask you this question see here two moles of hydrogen two moles of hydrogen gives forget about this one because it is in excessive quantity na so will not be deciding how much product will be formed it can only be decided by hydrogen so two moles of hydrogen give this is 18 Plus into two thirty six grams of water, thirty six grams of water. Therefore, therefore ten, ten na in question how many moles of hydrogen is given? Ten moles of hydrogen will give thirty six into ten divided by two. That is one hundred eighty gram of water. They can ask you like this as number of moles also, number of molecules also, volume in liter also. Volume in liter also. Two moles of water gives two moles of water. Sorry, two moles of hydrogen gives two moles of water. So ten moles of hydrogen will give ten moles of water. Will give ten into twenty two point four liter. Will give ten into thirty ten into eight eighteen grams. Will give ten into six point zero two two into ten power twenty three molecules. So like this, we'll be doing this all. fine that's very very important and very difficult questions will be getting based on this all what is the meaning of a specific gravity gravity a specific gravity means what is the meaning of a specific gravity a specific gravity means the weight of 1 ml of solution that is density that is density that is density a specific gravity is the weight of 1 ml solution or uh, that is also known as density so specific gravity means density just remember this point homogeneous system have only one phase means sugar in water sugar in water can you see where sugar is and where water is known that is one phase one phase 
one gives and if a stone and sand is there a stone and water is there then you can see where stones are and where water is that is two phase yes, system sir. that is heterogeneous system so if only one phase is there if you can't distinguish them if you can't distinguish them then it is homogeneous that is one phase system and if it is distinguishable you can you can say that see this is a stone this is water then it is called heterogeneous because there more than one phases are involved so just uh, all these are uh, small points as i already told you i have written each and every uh, small as well as difficult weight everything i have mentioned there so you need not to bank upon any other book just will be banking upon my notes so let's see until 1982 stp means uh, in gaseous state of matter what the meaning of stp is that's very important we should know what stp is stp means 273.15 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure stp means 273. kelvin and one atmospheric pressure now now it is ntp now it is ntp and what stp is minus 25 degrees centigrade and 180 until 1982 this was the stp now since 1982 after 1982 what the meaning of stp means stp means 273.15 kelvin and what about the pressure pressure won't be 1 atm it will be 1 bar it will be 1 bar and what ntp is 25 degrees centigrade and 1 atm fine so remember this volume of 1 mole of gas at stp is 22.4 liter and this was stp now what is the meaning of satp satp is 25 degree centigrade that is 298.15 kelvin and 1 atm 1 atm that is satp a standard ambient temperature pressure what this stp is a standard temperature pressure what this stp is a standard temperature pressure what satp is a standard ambient temperature pressure so in satp temperature will be 298.15 kelvin that is 25 degree centigrade and 1 atm that is that is 1.013 bar or 101.325 kilo pascal so you should know that what the meaning of 1 atm is we should know that too so and stp at satp this is 1 mole of gas at stp and at satp at satp it will be 24.465 or 24.47 liter so what you wrote there 22.4 liter na that is at stp but if it is satp then the volume will be volume of one mole will be 24.47 liter 24.47 liter so this uh, all data we should remember now see as i was telling you about stoichiometry about stoichiometry stoichiometry means stoichio means whole number stoichio means whole number and metry means measurement so those calculations which are based on whole number means which can't be divided that is called stoichiometry or in other words it is known as mole concept so this is related to numericals only and this first this stoichiometry word was used by german scientist german chemistry chemist j v richter in 1792 he gave this stoichiometry fine stoichio means whole number and metry means measurement so those calculation those measure, measurements which are based on whole number are called or comes under this stoichiometry now see here what they have as you are demanding for numerical so see here it is what is the molecular weight of a substance uh, yeah sorry. hello yeah tell me please sir yes 
no i am not getting your voice is breaking your voice is breaking yeah say please or just text me Amesha, have you messaged me? Okay, fine. Later, words you can do that. If not, we will do it now. Can you hear me, Amesha? Am I audible? Hello, Mesha. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, if you have any doubt, you can text me, yeah, uh, or yes. ju just uh, record audio and uh, send me forward. See what is the molecular weight of a substance? Each molecule of which contains nine carbon atoms. How many carbon atoms? Nine carbon atoms. Thirteen H atoms. How many H atoms? Thirteen H atoms. And two point three three into the power minus twenty three gram of other component. How many grams of this is there? 2.33 into 10 to the power minus 23 gram of other component. Gram of other component. Fine. C. This is there in grams. And what you need? You need molecular weight. So this is already there in grams. This is already there in grams, so you need not to bother. What about this one? This is number of atoms are there, so convert this into convert this into AMU. So this will be twelve nine zero one zero eight AMU, and this will be thirteen AMU. AMU means mu, and this component is there in grams, so convert this into AMU. In my previous module, I already gave you relationship between AMU and gram. So this is there in grams, and this carbon and hydrogen is in AMU. So convert this also into gram. So how that can be done? That can be done. Three two point three three into ten to the power minus twenty three divided by one point six six into ten to the power minus twenty four. This is there in AMU. What you will get, you will get fourteen point zero four AMU. Weight of carbon is given, weight of hydrogen is given, and weight of this third element is also now here. So fourteen plus thirteen will be twenty seven plus eight thirty five one zero eight plus thirteen plus fourteen will be one thirty five point zero four AMU. This will be the molar mass this will be the molar mass once again i will explain you they gave here carbon is nine atoms so 9 into 12 will be 108 amu and hydrogen is 13 atoms 13 into 1 amu will be 13 amu and what about this third component that is there in gram so convert it into amu how you can convert this gram into amu Divide it by one point six six into ten to the power minus twenty four. This AMU will get sorry. This gram will get converted into AMU, and that would be somewhere around fourteen point zero four AMU. 
if we'll add this weight of carbon this weight of hydrogen and this weight of third element then you will get 135.04 this will be the molar mass molecular weight of the compound so c 135.04 is the answer is it okay yes okay fine tomorrow we will continue the same uh, is our 9 o'clock again solution class is there so in that class that girl won't be available she is going somewhere so she won't be available so we will be doing from the beginning solution we will be doing begin from the beginning and tomorrow also we will be having around two hour session so we'll try to uh, complete as much as possible fine thank you very much okay. thank you okay sir sir please repeat sir sir yeah yeah please sir please repeat this yeah i'll i'll uh, nine o'clock class will be there ah huh? solution sir fine aap jo padhaya thi bata do sir kaun se variable solution solution sir abhi jo padhaya tha aapne abhi ye to basic concept tha na ye to basic concept of chemistry aata ye sir ये समझ में नहीं आया सर इधर तो अच्छा चलिए ठीक है इस क्वेश्चन को दोबारा इस क्वेश्चन को दोबारा कल देख लेंगे ठीक है इस इसी से स्टार्ट करेंगे नेक्स्ट क्लास में नॉट दोबारा नॉट टुमारो मंडे इट विल बी देयर सो वील स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस क्वेश्चन इफ आई वोंट बी स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम देयर जस्ट लेट मी नो जस्ट रिमाइंड मी फाइन प्लीज फाइन थैंक यू वेरी मच